Well, I just got back from the skate park. I gotta say, I had a decent day today. So look, you can teach an old dude new tricks. <laughs> got there, I started out in the bowl a little bit, and honestly, I'm bored of it. Part two, my knee's a little sore. Last weekend, I skated three days in a row. I skated hard. I tried to throw those grinds out there like, like a crazy man, and I did. But um, wearing the S1 pads didn't offer me the comfy protection that the 187 pads did, I gotta say. Um, I've fallen plenty hard on those 187s before. Um, never have I had my knees be this sore. So, you guys know how I feel about this. You guys know the, the program I run on injuries. Um, my body just heals from it. It toughens up. And I don't have to deal with it again in the future. So, that's the way I see this this time. However, I'm spending a lot more time in my 187s. Um, not to say I won't wear the other ones again, because of course I will. Um, hopefully I'll get better and I won't need to use my knees as much. But right now, I'm not going to let something like that stop me either. So, but anyhow, back to what I'm talking about today. I spent some time with some kickflips. Um, kickflips really are pretty hard on the body. You know, if, if you don't have really good core strength, it can be a little difficult and... And um, the other day, I spent about 10 minutes trying to do some kick flips on a rainy day, just on some flat ground. I had a small piece of concrete. I couldn't even do any rolling. And I ended up pulling something in my elbow. How weird is that? So today, maybe spent about 30 minutes at the skate park, and I have footage. Um, there was a couple of younger dudes there. They were giving me some pointers and some advice. And what I wanted to do before I show you the video is I wanted to share you my trick tips, the things that I learned that I pay attention to as I'm doing a kickflip. Now, recently, a lot of the group of older guys that I subscribe to on YouTube have been doing better at kickflips. And I gotta say, guys, right on. You guys inspired me to get out there and get trying it again, and, and I did. And this is what I did first. All week, I tell myself I can do kickflips. I can be the master of kickflips. I can be great at kickflips. And, you know, I just start programming my thinking like that. And um, today I got out there and I'm going to put almost all the kickflips I tried. Um, you can see how bad I suck at them in the beginning. And, man, I, I start to get it. So, here are the things that I've learned that help me with kickflips. Um, one, ollie, ollie high. Do it, like practice for real. Um, go for some air time with the ollie. Do a real ollie. And two, in doing a real ollie, you've got to pop your tail. Pop your tail. Lift your back foot. There's, um, one channel I subscribe to, who's pulling some kick flips, but he's kicking his foot down to get the flip instead of forward, off the nose. And however, I think that you can learn kick flips that way, and you may be able to get consistent with them. I don't think it's the right way to learn. I think if you're going to really do it the right way, you've got to do it the way that actually levels out your board. As you kick your front foot forward, out in front of you, off the board, you level your board out. And when you do that, when you level your board out, you snap the board into your feet. If you're clicking the board down to, do, to get your flip, you're kicking your board to the ground. So it's not coming to your feet. Your, your, your landing is going to be really random. 
and more sketchy. So I used to train dogs, like police dogs, and I was an agitator for Schutzen Club. And this old German guy taught me how, how to do this. And, and uh, he said, practice doesn't make perfect. He said, perfect practice makes perfect. So that's always something I think about, trying to learn it the right way. Um, I noticed another YouTube channel that is not jumping with the back foot. And most of the time, I see somebody attempting ollies, and I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty of all of this stuff too myself. But a lot of times, I see guys trying to do kick flips. They're not jumping at all with their back foot. They're kicking the front foot out. They're doing the spin on the board, but their back foot's not even off the ground barely. So you gotta jump with your back foot. So I almost look at it, when I do a kickflip, I want to snap, I want to kick off the front, and then that will bring the back of the board up, and it should come up to your feet. Then, if you learn to kickflip that way, and you want to uh, kickflip up curb, you want to kickflip off something, you want to kickflip over something, you've got an, a solid ollie behind your kickflip, and you can get up and over something. So that's what I mean by perfect practice makes perfect we we should all be aiming for that and I, I hate to see somebody spend hours and hours and hours and hours not doing it the right way so that's why I bring this up um, today I start out man I suck I suck but I believe in my mind that I can do it and I had some success so all I wanted to say was give my tips. Um, all this is what I focus on: ollie high, snap my foot out, my front foot out hard, and I put my front toes um, right behind the bolts. And obviously, um, my foot is slid out to my heel side, a good distance, half the board. You know, my toe, the front of my toe is probably like in the center of my bolt, so I'm already pretty much toward the edge of my board. Uh, that may be something that I need to work on, having my feet in regular position. I don't even know if guys that do kickflips, I think they all sort of favor their foot to the right side. Um, I also did a heel flip the other day, just randomly, but I pulled something in my leg and I stopped. So uh, I'm gonna end up nailing that heel flip too, you watch. Um, but anyway, and snap the tail. I think that your board needs to make a snapping motion. If it's making a snapping motion, it's showing you, showing me that my weight has come off my rear foot and I've got it in the air. You've got to lift that rear knee on your rear leg. You've got to lift that knee. Um, if you're doing that, you should be able, when you snap the front foot, you should be able to kick that board right up into your feet. So anyway, here's the footage I got. Check it out. Um, you know, by no means am I a master at kickflips, but I'm going to keep trying. And I think as my, my body gets more used to these movements and this motion, I'll be able to go at it longer. I ended up stopping today after about 30 minutes because um, I started feeling some, um, some strain in my growing area. And there's just no point to push it when, uh, you know what, I can be a master at this in 10 minutes a day. So I'm going to try to do that. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoy my new effort for some new tricks and uh, you know keep let's keep challenging each other because man we're all going to benefit from this from sharing these videos and 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 giving our I've learned so much from all you guys and uh, you know what I want to give some shout outs progress skateboarding you've been killing it dude I think your name's Mike I think I finally remember it um, and I'm loving that you're starting to do some transition skating I'm super excited to see all that I noticed you had a pretty decent looking 50 50 and i was surprised i didn't think you were getting up there getting up there uh hitting it like that so i was pretty stoked to see that and um ben yeager dude's a beast he goes for it you know get some pads dog there's no reason not to but um dude your transition footage is is cool i'm i'm super stoked to see you going for that coping and and uh, doing that 50-50 axle drop, I tried again today to bring myself to do it front side. I still can't. And you know what? All week, I'm going to say, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And then next weekend, I'm going to do it. I got to do it. I just got to get it over with. 
Who cares? So what if you fall? Big deal. That's the way Ben Yeager looks at it, probably. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Maybe um, in future videos, I'd like to um, start sharing some of my opinions and some of the videos I saw this week. And sort of giving, uh, giving positive feedback to a few people that are really killing it. Um, but man, I like watching everybody's skate footage. I like watching everybody progress. Um, and I'm going to use it as a challenge to progress myself. I don't want to stay stagnant in this sport. Now that I'm doing it, and now that my body's feeling better, I want to push myself, man. I want to do a rock and slide for eight blocks. I want to... Uh, I want to get on grind regular concrete coping in a bowl. I've never done that yet. So there's just so many things that I want to do. Um, I don't know. Keep pushing me. Keep pushing me, man. All right. Thanks for the help, guys. Um, take care. I hope you all have a great week. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to be skating tomorrow as well. Probably have a whole bunch of groms with me again. Um, but uh, be safe. All right, later, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So look, you can teach an old dude new tricks.